Allen from Midland Actors Theatre about to start this Mantle of the Expert project. And it's the first time that anybody's done Mantle of the Expert in school. Today we are setting up the idea that the children are going to be running a kind of animal hospital. And so the main thing about today, I think, is getting their heads around that so that they are interested in the idea, that they understand something of what might be involved in running an animal hospital. Hopefully it'll get them immersed in what they're doing as well. I'm looking forward to seeing what the children's reactions are as well. I think they'll say, we haven't done any work today because I don't think it'll feel like work to them. Go to the with your pets. It's a picture of um, a person walking a dog when it's taking it to the entrance. The lady, the lady taking the dog to the vet. This way to the entrance. Do not let dogs off the leash. Don't let cats run off. There's a cage for us to run in. The cat trying to run off. Okay. And the person saying no. Really fast, isn't it? We've got to chase after it. And I've got another one with um, the same, but it just has biscuits mixed with it. Because it's got to be small, because the mouth is only tiny. We're looking after cats and kittens. Daddy's a healthy sleeper, so my boy's a farm. It's a hamster, and it plays with stuff, and needs to feed it. Number one, feed him. Number two, needs exercise. Number three, brush the horse. Number one, feed him. Number two, give him water. Gonna teach him. Wash and exercise. Hello, it's the vet here. I was just checking up about your um, horse, big horse that you were looking after. How's he getting on? No, it's alright. 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 It's a little bit. How's the eye doing? Is it is it okay? Is it red still? No, your drop seems to be working. Excellent, excellent. It's starting to feel to me like this is a real animal hospital. Let's call it back to you. I wonder what we should call it. Should we call it the animal hospital or should no, we try and think of another name? The greatest. The all, different, all different kinds of animals mean to, if you've got like a, a really little animal, you can still take it in instead of it just being uh -huh. big animals. So it's big and small. The greatest hospital for um, different kinds of vets. So that's kind of putting it all together, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so Greatest hospital for different animals. Even slimy animals, aren't we? Yeah, even slimy animals. <laughs> probably heard of plans now to open a new part of our hospital, which is very exciting. This is a plan for the new Sea Life Centre that we're opening. So you can see some of the creatures we're now going to have to start looking after. So we've got all sorts of creatures from the sea. We've got turtles and we've got fish and eels, yes. jellyfish, 
This could sting you. That you let them. I don't know. That's the light. It's the light. I thought so that was it. The giant tool. It does no. seem like it gives out a light through that, oh, no. doesn't it? Dog I want to sit on the dolphin's back. I'm we have to try and see if um, careful, this is, if they don't oh, hurt or they do hurt. Yeah. Does that look dangerous? Yeah. Yeah. And if you go by so. it, it hurts. Hurt. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of dangerous because it looks like it's see oh, it's got no like, legs, not kind of could grab for me. This one looks dangerous because it looks like a see-through one. This looks dangerous because it look, it's got lots of legs and it looks like it's going to hurt. Yeah. It's got another one. This one looks dangerous because it's got the smart teeth and it might bite ya. So that's huge. So that's bigger than a person. This one looks quite ugly, but do you think it's alright? Do they look dangerous or not? They are, oh, oh. That one looks bigger than that, but actually that is just, you've said five centimetres. This one, one and a half metres. That's my height. We just sort them out What in our piles to a pile of fish and eels, and a pile of turtles, and a pile of rays, and a pile of jellyfish, and a pile of squid and octopus, and a pile of dolphins. That's the fish. That was the crab. That's the jellyfish. That's the ray. This is the greatest threat. Welcome to This is the crown jellyfish. There we go. That's I can't read, it's too hard. Is that bioluminescent? What's this white one? Do you know you've just asked the most difficult question because that was the one we weren't sure about. <laughs> this is a crown jellyfish. It is three centimetres. Our biggest squid so far are the giant squid and the colossal squid because the giant squid is 12 meters and the colossal squid is 10 meters. What's that one called? The colossal squid. I should touch this one and blow up big and big. The dolphins really cold. our first visitors. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much.
there and an edge there. That one's just going to Yeah, look at all of them and look, it hasn't got the same like that. Oh, because it's that one. No, that's a flat body. That's just the flat body. Look, not the head, it looks exactly the same as this head. That could be that. It's 69 meters. That and 69 meters. We should explain to them how they can get the whale out of the water and into our tank. And it might be that Mr. HD could film what we think they should do. How can they lift this whale out of the sea? And it's a big whale, isn't it? So I wonder how they can get it out of the water. Towns and Newton. What you could do is you could go under the water and like quickly put on there and then you could like lift it up. Put water by the way on and then when it lies down it's got something kind of cut so um, if there's anything kind of quilt um, it won't get into the cut. If it's not water, it can't breathe, it's a fire and then get to the fire and then the yeah, that's all. It's about like, get the hose and then just spray water on everywhere so it stays wet. Put the cream on gently so you don't hurt the wires. First we have to spray the whale so it will get wet because he can't live without water. We're going to lift the whale up. Pass the net gently underneath. Don't touch the whale's tail because it will whack you. Make sure you don't hurt the whale because the whale will get frightened. Don't touch the whale's mouth because it might open its mouth and you might fall on its tongue. Don't touch the whale's cuts because it might be even more worrying. Don't scare the whale because the tail will hurt you. Be careful of the whale's kidneys in the middle of his belly because they hurt and you'll make him even worse. Don't scare the whale because it's already frightened. You need to put crooks at the bottom of the tank because it's hurt and if you don't, it could hurt itself on the glass. We have to drive slowly, just in case the whale would get frightened and you get more scars on him. We have to treat the whale good because um, if we um, leave it and, it and we don't put no water in its tank, then it might die or it get hurt. My name's Omar and I've been learning about the Sea Life Centre and we are good and, and people came to our Sea Life Centre and this is our new Sea Life Centre book. <laughs> Welcome to our Sea Life Centre. I am a um, dolphin. I'm a 